Hey guys, how are you? So I got a prompt to pull from two of my decks here. Um, I did pull them before I turned the camera on because I don't really have a way to put the camera down and have both my hands free to shuffle. Um, but I had asked, um, I was getting the prompt to talk with Robin Williams, Archangel Raphael. Um, but I also just, so I asked him, but was also saying, asking, you know, spirit, my true self, source, what we truly are, kind of just combine all of it, because that's, you know, we are, it is all just God source, it's, you know, we are beyond these things, which kind of goes <clears throat> a little bit along with the, with what we're going to be talking about, about how we're beyond that stuff. So, I got pulled, called, got a bee flying around, hi. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so there we go. We had a bee buzzing around here. I don't know if I can get if that was on camera or not, but yeah, I just had a bee flying around me. Um, it's you know, still flying around. Um, so I got called. Hang on one second here. So I um, so I got called to pull from my magical mermaids and dolphin stack as well as um, from my angels of light card deck words. <laughs> so um. The cards that I got, so I'd asked just for one from each, and we got Healing Heart, and we also got Detachment, and I, I, and because I asked for, um, so I pulled from the um, Mermaids and Dolphins deck first, and then, um, and and I already had the intention that like I wanted cards that were going to go together, and then when I pulled for like from this deck. Um, I had asked for a card to go along with that on what they want me to like and with what they want me to talk about. So um, it's really interesting that we got Healing Heart and Detachment because this is a big one that's really been surfaced for quite a while now. Um, I'm asking for help with my words with this. So there is, there's a big part of this process where and I've I've been there as well I was there when I first hit my awakening um where we feel that we are here to be a light warrior and you know we're changing the world from this corruption to this utopia and you know I'm here to we're here to you know save save the earth and heal and fix others and you know, um, we play pretend with this stuff and everything is helpful. We're not to judge any of it. With that being said, it's really important to remember, and I talk about this all the time, but it's for a reason. It's really important to remember that it's about oneself. Yes, take calls to action as you get that prompt to do as such. You know, if the illusion need for the illusion tool of boundaries services, that's okay to utilize them. I do those things too. I take calls to action when I can. You know, I utilize boundaries as well. It's just really important to remember what this actually is. And it's always important to remember to refocus in on oneself because it's not actually about an other because there is no other. It's all you. You know, when you're talking to someone else, you're talking with yourself the external is literally your own projected hologram coming from within. So with the healing heart, because it talks about how, you know, you might be called to be a healer. You might be told that you got healing stuff and, you know, all this. And now's the time to step up your game, go deeper with this work. Yes, there's something to be said. I play with that too. If someone, I have people who come to me to help them, work on healing themselves it's just really again it's really important and this is why the detachment card is kicking in with this and we're going to go further with it too beyond what i'm talking about right now but it's really important that if you are claiming to be a healer or that you do heal others and for people just starting to or who are trying to who are waking up and remembering what this all is. It's important to remember that whatever we see in an other, our made up other, is something that we're actually clinging to within ourselves. So 
if you have someone coming to you for help with something, with healing themselves, there's always that lesson for yourself. What is it within them that you're seeing? Because that's actually what's within you that you're seeing. And then that's opportunity. They're giving you opportunity to do your own self work. So I'll use eye language. If someone comes to me looking for help and with healing and all that, that's always opportunity for me to take a step back and see what it is they're reflecting to me that's within myself that I'm clinging to. And I can always find something. It's not a matter of, you know, analyzing myself and judging myself in a negative way. It's just important to take a step back. And when you're ready, when I'm ready, take a step back and see what that is that is being projected out and reflecting back at me because everything, like I just said, everything external is a projected hologram coming from within. So with this healing heart, there's that level of if this is what you're being called to do and it's part of your journey with like healing others and everything, beautiful, you know, keep going, you're ready for the next step, go deeper. But then there's also, it's going deeper and it's also deeper as in remembering the healing heart is, again, yourself, your self work. Because yes, there is that illusioned personal journey if you're being called to help heal others. But again, what is, and that's just it detaching from even what the whole idea of healing is, because it's not that someone's actually sick or broken. They're just playing pretend very strongly with something that, playing pretend very strongly of something that they're not, which is something separate from source and that's not source in one way or the other. You know, it's, it's resistance to what we truly are. So all healers are actually doing is helping that other to tap into what they and all truly are and allow that to take over. That's essentially what all, all kinds of, whatever you want to label it as in any level, Reiki, energy healing, energy cleansing, you know, parallel life or past life. It's not even past regression stuff. It's, you know, it's all different types of metaphor for, you know, facing what you're not and surrendering it and allowing what you truly are to take over. You know, it's not that anything has actually happened that's bad or that's even in the past. There is no past. There is no bad. It's just all play pretend. So going off in a little ramble, going deeper as in, you know, whatever on your personal journey when this is ready to step up and go deeper, plus going deeper and as in working on the detachment from all this stuff is detachment. So um, I'm just seeing what they're, cause they highlighted something and I'm just refreshing myself. Um, right. So it's, it's, so I'm asking for help with my words again. It's, I'm getting like a mix, like it's blurring together what's on here and what's in my head. So I'm just asking for help with my words because I'm, I'm trying to anchor onto what is like what's going on in my head. It's a little difficult at the moment. Um, the way it's blurring together is making it a little difficult. So when you're attached, when we attach to people, ideas, beliefs, things, emotions, thoughts, feelings, it does, those are, those are types of blocks and resistance because it is part of ego identity. Not that it's bad. Embrace where we're at. Be in awe and play with this stuff. Play like childlike awe, wonder, play, right? Again, it's just important to start working on the detachment from this stuff. So with the healing heart, detach from embrace where you're at but also detach from the character detach from the character you're playing from these characters that you're pretending are outside of yourself detach from the whole notion that someone needs healing and that you are a healer you know embrace it but also detach from it it's 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 like a type of balance in a sense so and again, why? Why do we want to detach from this stuff? Because what we truly are is beyond all of these labels, beyond all of these words, beyond all of these roles, beyond all of these characters. It's it's beyond thought, beyond feeling, beyond feeling 
as in opposition duality you know love it's because love is not even just a feeling it's our true state of being so love joy bliss pleasure euphoria happiness laughter that is our true state of being and it's without opposition so that's why we want to learn to detach from all of these things including stuff when it comes to being a healer because it's still part of the pretend game that we're playing. It's not that it's wrong. We embrace where we're at. We honor it. It's been a beautiful gift. It's helped us be able to experience what we truly are with an illusion of opposition, which is just like, whoa, like it is, it's so cool to start to feel that love and acceptance and support and abundance that's actually here when you've been playing so strong pretend that that's not what's actually here. So it's, it, it brings us to a place of peace and calm and rest and happiness and joy. No more pain, no more hurt, no more attack. It, that's what doing this stuff allows online because that's what we truly are. These other things help us block and play pretend like it's not. It's all helpful and stuff like healing can help us play pretend of climbing up this ladder back into truth as we play pretend that we're pulling ourselves out of this rabbit hole. It's just important to, again, detach. It's not saying push it away and resist it. That's that's still playing with resistance. <laughs> you can't push it away and resist it and just say no. You have to embrace it, play with it, enjoy it, have fun with it. Just remember what it is as well and do the self-work on it too. So that is the message that I have been prompted to share with you guys. Um, I am, oh yeah, right, Robin. He's been... <sighs> I like so like randomly over the past several days it has been random but incessant when it happens because I'll notice after several moments that it's playing in my head all here's do 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 like from the um Zelda like Ocarina of Time I think it's like in the Kokiri forest however you say it yeah and then I'm like Robin okay hi so he's been I mean he's always here he's like I mean, what is like one spirit guide versus another and spirit, one spirit team versus another all is here with all always, but I'm still attached. I'm still working on my detachment when it comes to these roles and these na names and labels and characters. Um, so I'm like, Robin, I know he's here all the time. He's like one of my like main, like he's like, like I'm one of my number one spirit guides. Everyone is, but I play pretend like it's you know and uh so I'm like okay okay I know we're here what do you want to say um and I'm just like okay yeah I I was being pulled because that magical mermaids and dolphins deck makes me think of him because of mermaids Peter Pan he knows this so um all right I'm just going to just breathe for a moment and just see sorry I'm distracted um to see what he wants to say. Okay, I need to focus. I'm asking him what he would like to say, just if there's anything about this or just in general. I don't know. Like he's teasing me about being shy around him. I know I'm working on it. It's silly. I judge myself over it. It's subtle. I, oh, it's getting stronger, actually. Oh, mm, my chakra system just started going off, especially my crown chakra. Again, it doesn't hurt. It's just... And then I'm, um, I'm also, if we want to practice seeing energy, he's like, he's got his arms energy wrapped around my arms. I can feel him like right around both my, my back and my arms. So if you guys are able to see anything or want to practice, like he's holding me um I can feel it um and and I and as that was kicking in that again I was getting that feeling of like telling you guys like he's holding you as well um and I'm, I'm hearing him like say like let me in <laughs> um I'm here <laughs> I'm just seeing him smiling and it's just just this just feeling of love just this gentle, sweet love. It's, yeah, I'm seeing him like, like it's like he's sitting down and he's like patting the spot beside him and like rubbing and patting the spot beside him. And it's very much just that feeling of like, sit with me. And it's just very like, 
the feeling I'm getting off of it is very much just like this place of rest and peace and like sit with him and let yourself just be still with him in this place of rest and peace. It's, it doesn't really feel like there's much, I'm not really getting words from him. Like definitely like I love you. It's just, it's again, it's just that I'm seeing and feeling him just, it's that sit and sit and rest with me. Be just be, just be with me, which is like helping us to just be. And then seeing him blow kisses. Um, not really words. Honestly, just very calm, content, peace, rest. I think that's what he really wants to portray is just convey, portray, is just sit with him and let yourself be at rest and peace. Um, it feels quite significant. It's feeling like there's definitely like this is like an it's almost like it's not just like like letting you letting you guys know that like he's it's not just him offering it. It's like there's like that advice there. Um, there's advice there and it feels again, there's like, I'm getting a strong feeling that there's someone's going to come across, come across this, who needs the advice of take this time, take time and just like sit, visualize Robin, sit and rest and just like be at rest and peace and calm and let yourself just be like it very strongly feels like this is like actually advice. It's not just like an offer it's advice too. So hopefully yeah, hopefully someone finds that helpful. So, all right. Thanks, you guys. Um, I'm going to leave it there. And, uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate all of you very much. Um, oh, yeah, I officially hit 500 subscribers. Yay, that's really cool. I mean, my public watch hours are really low, but that's okay. I'm a big part of all of this is I'm just, I've been very much called to just do everything just at my own pace. And, there's a reason why it's, and I can feel it. I know it's, it's, everything has needed to be at a slow pace. I've, I, I have had and still have a lot of self work to do. And, um, yeah. And so I just, I'm one now by one now, and it all happens the way it's meant to. And yeah. So thank you all so much for, you know, subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it so, so much more than I can say. Like, I just, I, I remember when I first started this, I had like five subscribers and now I'm up to 500. And I know compared to like other people on here, like there's people of like billions and I get that. Like I know in a sense, this is like peanuts, you know, but to me, it's, it's like, in a sense, it's like everything, you know, like it's 500 people have subscribed to this and like, really? Like, wow. Thank you. Like, am I going to get emotional and start crying? Like, <laughs> I just, honestly, I just... Everything that I do on here, everything I say, everything is reminders for myself. And I mean, I I know like I, how I started out with doing this. I mean, I've grown. I've grown. And I mean, when I first hit my awakening, there's things that I have said and done that I'm really embarrassed about. Because I look and sound, if we're going to be an ego judgment, fucking crazy. Even stuff that I've messaged people and I look and sound insane. But I was going through a lot. And at that point, I didn't have any guidance. Not like I do now. Within about a, within about a year into my awakening, I had one friend come into my life. I reached out to this one girl. And the one day, and we've talked almost every day since, and she's just been, I mean, I, I've mentioned her, like, I mentioned her many times, like, many times I give her thanks to her on Facebook posts, like Julie. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll share her YouTube link in my thing. She's been, she's been a huge fucking help, and she's helped me balance out and figure out, you know, a lot of what my shit was. I, I didn't click in until she helped me about you know, every, like, oh, energy, all of energy, which means everything external is playing as I'm allowing it to. Holy shit. Like, it's just, I, 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 I had these knowings, but there was this, the guidance that she gave me, gave me this click in and it helped change things. And, you know, so I just, I, I know that my channeling has and is changing because I'm learning more and more about what truth is. And I've learned 
I've learned more so where it's my own ego and my own crap that I'm filtering, uh, filtering, exactly filtering what the truth is actually being said. I filter my own ego over it. And I've, I've learned and am learning more and more how I've been doing that. And, you know, this is why I don't, I don't channel in the same way that, you know, others out there do. And I'm not saying I'm the only one. I'm just saying, you know, I just, I've learned, you know, I don't, I don't sit there and focus in on conspiracy theories or others, or, you know, things are bad for us or things are evil. Cause it's just, I, I know now I know better, you know, um, better I've grown. Um, and for those of you who have stuck by me through this whole journey and who continue to just thank you. Because I know what I can be like. I know I can be harsh. And I know I can be passionate. And I know I can be emotional. And I know I can be stubborn as fucking hell. That's just it though. I'm very aware of it. And I do actively work on it. Every day. Which is why I again don't have the numbers that. You know some of my numbers are on the low end. And it is. In some compared to some, this is a slow progress, but it's for good reason because I still have a lot of work to do on myself. I've had a lot of work to, work to do, and I still have a lot of work to do. So, to all of you who have been sticking by me with this, just thank you. I appreciate you guys way more than I can say. I want to go. I know what the truth is. Like everyone's deserving and we're all one and we're all love. But I do want to say there is that part of me that still wants to say like, I don't know what I've done to deserve the support that I do have. And I'm just beyond thankful for you guys. So thank you so much. I love you all. And let's just keep moving on up on this crazy joke of a game we've made up together as one. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for everything. I love you all very much. And as always, have a wonderful now.